will mainly be trying to import information into uh, the system for the bank feeds. So, so you could try to use the demo company and basically import the information. But if you want to start from scratch, like we would like to do here, I'm going to go back uh, to the to the last organization, or I can hit the drop down and go to the zero. Let's do it that way. So now we're back to our home page. Then the other method we could do is add another organization. Before I do that, however, I just want to point out that the demo company file, the other advantage of it is I believe it, it'll actually save the information in the demo company file because it's actually your you know demo company file. And then you could reset the demo company file if you want to reset it to the original numbers in the demo company. That's a big advantage in my mind to some other methods used by other accounting software like a QuickBooks Online, which has more of a universal uh, demo file that will reset every time you log into it. And, and everybody kind of logs into it in a different, using a different login. So I really like that tool. And you can also change the country over here so that you could practice uh, in, in the different locations, uh, New Zealand, United Kingdom, Australia, and global. So that's neat as well. And we have the addition, business addition, premium. So I'm gonna close that up, but we're gonna try to create another company file utilizing the 30 day free trial. So I'm gonna say, add a company file. And then I'm gonna say, this is the, the business name. I'm gonna say bank feed file and uh, the industry that I'm going to pick. Now, note that the industry you pick will will possibly have an impact on the, the general ledger that you will create because Zero is gonna to try to possibly put together a general ledger based on the industry. Although uh, it's, it's usually Zero, I think it's actually better than other accounting software, it tries to give you somewhat of a limited, uh, a limited GL. So, We'll pick an industry. I'm going to pick just a store-based retailing because what I want it to do is give me some uh, inventory accounts. Now, most of the stuff we'll put into the system here will be will be based on a, a concept that we're trying to create all of our books from the bank feeds, which means we're going to try to limit the, the inventory as a distraction from that. But then we'll put some items in there to show how, how uh, some areas cause problems like inventory, for example. Uh, so then I'm going to say I'm in the country of the United States. So you can pick uh, the country here. We're going to say, do you have employees? I'm just going to say no here, noting that when you're talking about employees, you're talking about payroll and uh, zero usually has a, a system for payroll uh, called Gusto. That's an integration to do payroll within uh, the zero system. Your options on payroll, you always want to think them out very carefully beforehand are to do payroll within zero or possibly have a third party help you with the payroll uh, so that you can just enter the data into zero. But uh, so we'll talk a little bit about payroll as well, because that's another area that forces us out of a straight uh, cash based system, which could be dependent directly on the bank feeds to doing some accrual concepts sometime, but we're not going to actually process payroll through the system. And we say that we're not a robot because I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. Stop calling me a robot. The computer's always calling me a robot. And there we have it. Easy as that. So now I'm going to close this back out and we can take a look at the, at the accounting and look at our chart of accounts down here. This is what they gave us for the chart of accounts. So pretty, pretty lean uh, chart of accounts. There's not like they don't give us an overwhelming number of accounts. However, uh, next time what we'll do is we'll go through here and possibly clean up the chart of accounts a little bit. And so that we can practice building the chart of accounts basically as we do the bank, as we do the data input from the bank feeds. Uh, but that's the that's the general concept so uh if i go back just so we could see what we have here and go back to our uh my zero now we have here we can go into the demo company still and we've got our file here uh that we can we can work in the demo company is still a great tool to have because you can practice your data input without messing up your company file or your uh or your practice file as you do basically the data input so we'll continue on uh, with, the, with our practice file in future presentations.